Okay, I know I see a lot of my buddies draw a bow back. I shouldn't say the wrong way, but a they draw it back in a very uncomfortable position for especially them. Because I know at the end of the day, they shoot like 10 rounds of arrows and they say their shoulder hurts from drawing too much weight. And they draw like 65, 70, you know. So I'm gonna show all of you who watch this video an easier way to draw back your bow. And you can pull more weight instead of, you know. Okay, let's just get into this. So the way I see people draw a bow back is they start way up here and then they pull down against their chest and then one because you pull back and now you're here now you have to raise your arm up and get to your anchor point it just takes so so many extra steps plus there's actually like science behind this it is proven that that way when you're drawing against your chest you're not utilizing your muscles and your joints to their best possible use. Meaning, when you pull against your chest, your shoulder's dropping, therefore creating a lot more that could go wrong, and you're also straining it. I'm not a muscle expert, but that's all I know, is that it's not good on your muscles in your back, in the back of your shoulder, and the front of your shoulder, because I know I used to draw like this and it would suck. I'd be sore the next day from shooting like three rounds of arrows. And I it it suck. And I thought I'd be weak cuz I couldn't draw back like 45 pounds when I was doing that. So now I draw 60 on this solo cam. <clears throat> 60 pounds no problem. But the way I do it is I start, if I can clip my release in. Now release, that doesn't matter what release you use. You could be using a wrist strap one with a trigger. I don't like to use them just because I don't feel like, because that one's really long and it's my anchor point is, I don't have an anchor point basically. So anyway, enough with that. Um, I use a handheld just like this. Um, I'm looking to get a, nicer one but that's not the point of this video um, how I pull back I'll demonstrate it right now and then I'll show you why I pull back like this see how everything's lined up and basically what I do when I'm doing this is when I start I got a little bit of tension on the string, not much. I usually have my hand and wrist in this strap on my grip here. Um, what I do is I start up and my bow is level. Well, not completely level, it's barely pointing up. And, but usually it's level, but it's level. So if I let it go right now, it'll go straight into my wall. But, um, say if you're outside it'll be level therefore it's not going to go up and possibly endanger some people or your neighbor's dog but when it's level what i'm doing is when i'm drawing back i can't i can't draw back slow i just can't it's fairly hard to do so what I do is I extend this arm and as I'm going down, I'm also pulling back, which creates an effect like a bungee cord. You stretch it like this. That's kind of exactly what I'm doing. So I'll do it again. And now I'm locked in. And now I'll do it again here. When I draw 
my arm is naturally in that position to where it's locked back. It's already like that. I don't have to move my arm up and then anchor. It just makes things a whole lot easier. And since you do that, you're not putting as much muscle strain or tension on your back, part of your back and the back of your shoulder. So therefore you could probably pull more poundage without being grieved of, you know, your, your arm being sore. So it works out. Because if you're like my buddy who only shoots like 35, only pulls back like 35, and he pulls back down, you could probably pull more poundage. Because I taught him, I taught him this way, the way I just showed you, and he could almost pull back 60. That's a big jump. That's a 25 pound jump from 35 to 60. That's like, that's pretty good numbers, especially poundage. So he could almost get it back. He could like get it back to like there. That's it. So also let off has a pretty good size play in it. Let off basically is you'll say you have a 80% let off at well, do 100 minus 80, 20. At 20% 20 of your draw, you're gonna feel the max poundage. And then once you get to like 30, 50, the poundage starts letting off and then you lock back. So basically if you have like a 90 pound let off, you're gonna feel the weight right away. And then once you get past like the 15%, your 20% draw length, it'll start to let off, hence the name let off. It all has to do in your cam system. If you, like this is a solo cam bow, this is not a cam, this is just a wheel. A cam is down here. It looks something like that. And now the newer bows, is, it, it, they run a double cam system. They got one of these down here and one of these up there. Pretty nice, but um, you know, it just, Getting back to the draw, the draw is nice. Also, it doesn't take a lot of movement. See, I already kind of told you this, but um, you're not moving your arm from down here up. You're already up. So, Yeah, I'll get into another video later on about my release and when I get a new one, because I'm going to get a new one here pretty soon. This is like some $5 cheap release, and it works. I'm pretty consistent with it, but um, I'd like to upgrade because I wouldn't like to kill my first year with this. No offense, but um, so there's the rundown on how I draw and how it's easy for me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do a rundown on my bow, what I use, what I shoot, my arrows, my broadheads, field points, all that. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Fun stuff, I hope you learned something.